Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, Bill Holter discusses how the fear and lack of confidence in USD have resulted in a shift towards gold and silver, along with a general distrust in the government and the process of monetization. Well, yeah, we saw a little bit of a move. I just think you're seeing uh, fear capital, if you will, trying to get out of the system and into something that cannot bankrupt. And I think that's that's what you're seeing is you're seeing money flows move toward gold and metal or gold and silver um, out of everywhere. Banks, brokers, insurance companies, you name it. Many traders trade uh, gold versus the USDX. The problem with the USDX is it's really just a measure versus other fiat currency. So it's not uh, if you want to say it's not real, it's not real because you're measuring something that's uh, unbacked versus other currencies that are unbacked. As far as the reason or the reasoning be behind the uh, the drop in the dollar, I think it's just a lack of confidence. I think you're seeing uh, confidence being lost in the U.S. from foreigners. Uh, and also keep in mind uh, what was it, two weeks ago, the Saudis came right out and, and, and said that they will accept other currencies than dollars for oil. And what does that do? That creates less demand for dollars. So I think that's, that is definitely a factor and is definitely bleeding into the dollar index, the value of the dollar on that index. And one other thing, uh, this past week, uh, Brazil and Argentina announced that they're working on a a joint currency that they can use for trade. So whatever the trade between Brazil and Argentina has been, has been in dollars and that's going to be no more. So that's more demand for dollars that will not be there. Uh, is it possible? Well, of course it's possible. And I think it's probable that you see the dollar lose, I don't know, pick a number, 99.5, 99.8, 99.9. It can only be 100% if the dollar completely goes away and becomes valueless. I don't think that's going to happen, uh, but I do think that you're going to see a, a massive drop in purchasing power. And the, another way to say that is a huge move upward in inflation. Your dollars are going to buy much, much less. You've got China and Russia doing deals together in their local currency. You've got Iran, uh, India. I mean, many of these countries are what they're trying to do is they foresee the problem with the dollar. They foresee a, a much, much weaker dollar. Uh, and one of the reactions this past year, uh, central banks have bought more gold in the past year than they have for many, many years. And the reason they're doing that is they're looking at their balance sheet. And let's say they have 50 percent or 70 percent or whatever of their balance sheet consists of dollars. What they're trying to do is they're trying to protect that position by purchasing gold, which they know cannot bankrupt. And gold is the universally accepted uh, monetary currency worldwide. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I'm not sure we'll ever get a true number. Uh, the, the West Point, uh, Fort Knox, they've not been audited since the 1950s. So I don't know that we'll ever get a real number. Now, you say it's whispers and rumors. I would say it's just common sense that these countries are looking to uh, back currencies with commodities. And obviously, the, the ultimate, and I'm not going to call it a commodity, but the ultimate money uh, to back a currency with is gold and and followed by silver. So I don't think it's you're saying it's a rumor. I I think it's just common sense and logic. They're going to do this. There's no question about it. Foreign countries want a currency that they can trust. And think back how many how many deals. Well, I guess the best way to say this is how many deals has the U.S. done over the past years that they've actually honored? The answer is probably very close to zero. Pretty much all the deals that we've done over the past, we've broken those deals. And foreigners look upon or are beginning to look upon the dollar with distrust. And that's why they're dumping the dollar and looking for alternatives, whether it be an alternative clearing system, uh, 
alternative trading partners, you name it. Uh, trust is being lost in the U.S. And the dollar, if you want to call the, the dollar uh, the common stock of the United States, it's being sold off because confidence is waning. I mean, they're tied, they're tied hand in hand. And you're obviously seeing a loss of confidence in the government inside the U.S., not only outside of the U.S., uh, the Federal Reserve is the buyer of last resort, and the Federal Reserve has been a huge buyer of treasuries. Um, I mean, what you're what you're really asking is, how does a government support itself when it has to monetize 100%? And the answer is, it doesn't last very long, but the central bank is the one who props the system up. But at some point in time, investors realize that it's pure monetization, and then you see the huge exodus from the dollar. All the, I guess what I'm getting at is all the lies that we've been fed, they're all coming home to roost now. You should have already gone uh, and gotten as much out of the system as you can. And obviously, obvi the, the obvious answer is gold and silver. And the reason being, they cannot bankrupt. And when an entity bankrupts, that currency basically goes to zero and gold and silver go to infinity, as well as a cup of coffee will go to infinity versus a currency that goes to zero. So your the answer, the safe haven is to, to move uh, dollars, to move account balances from where they are out of dollars and into gold and silver. And it's, it's simple because gold and silver cannot bankrupt. They cannot default in a world that is in the process of collectively defaulting. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available, and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.